Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be playing Bellrite. It's in early access or beta. Actually, beta. It says here, this game is currently in early access, which means it is still being um, updated with new features, content, and improvements. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a review to support our title. Now, actually, right now it's in testing phase. They only sent, uh, it's closed testing, closed beta right now. They sent a few keys out to content creators. I just happen to be one. So just to tell you right off the bat, guys, this is a uh, beta version of the game. So let's just take it for what we know. We, we're professionals here. I've done a lot of game testing in the past. So, uh, you know, we're not going to tear this game apart if we find some blunders we're just going to approach it to the devs saying that things might need to be addressed or fixed okay i'm just going to just throw a name out here it looks like or my name i and and just randomly pick one of these faces which is fine you got this random character customization uh you can do the head the hair I'm not really into that. Uh, you uh, know that about me. I could look like a uh, walking stick and I'd still play a game. Uh, to me, it's not about what I look like. It's about how the game functions. So I usually blow past the, the customization screens. But if you're into that, if you're really into wanting to make sure that you've got a, a good looking character and, and you know, you can do that. Because a lot of games like this, uh, they also... Uh, have armor sets like you see in this picture so that regardless of what you look like on day one no one's going to see that because you'll have a helmet on or you have uh, you have gear on i mean 90 uh, percent of the games i've ever played in the past that are somewhat like this game you know city building management third person management or even mmos in general what regardless of what you started looking like no Isn't one ever sees that how one small decision and have consequences that okay this obviously has an intro screen i'm not going to spoil that for you it's an intro you know cinematic thing i'm not going to spoil that you can get that yourself if you get the game all right so this is me i'll just make sure everything's moving smooth yeah okay i'll go forward standard keys for movement and sprinting Okay, I can't attack with the mouse button. Okay, so talk to, uh, I gotta talk to somebody. Okay, story of the lowlands. So if I hit M, it looks like I gotta go down here to the quest objectives. Let me just scroll out here. Wow, this map's kind of big. Wow. All right, it's got some size to it, guys. I, I gotta imagine, I, I don't know, this hit has an Unreal Engine feel to it. I'm gonna just think that's what we're in. It just does, it just has that feel. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure if I like the exhaustion bar where it is in this game. Uh, already, I'm gonna start kind of critiquing for uh, uh, quality of life stuff. Where they've got it is not a good place because it's up there in the left-hand corner. See, when I run, the green bar goes down. That should be down by my character's legs or it should be something that's above my head or it should be somewhere closer to my uh, line of sight. It just seems silly to have it up there. Where they've got the health bar and the stanima bar, unless that's changeable in the customs, uh, Maybe it is where I can move that, but a lot of games it's not. Don't really like it where it's at. But again, this is beta. All right. We're getting some uh, rendering, uh, uh, I guess the jitters. Rendering jitter is what I want to call it. I don't know if you've noticed it, but when I go run and buy some things, they kind of tweak out. And I guess you'd call that a little bit of frame rate loss. Let me uh, just look at what I've got this thing set at with uh, the. Uh, I got it on high. Well, I've got it on high, and it's okay. The shadow quality is ultra. I want to put that on the highest setting, ultra. 
ultra, high, ultra. I mean, I've got a beefy computer. I've got a, uh, okay, you have not saved. Do you want to exit? No, I want to save it. Where's the save button? Oh, apply changes right there. Now, I've got a beefy, beefy computer in a, in a beefy video card. Oh, wow, I've just made a huge mistake making those changes. Holy crowdy. You can see the, look at the line right at my head where my ears are. Look at where my ears are. And then I start moving. You can see a line across. See, you can see, look at a glitching line across the screen right above me. It's like a, uh, see it? See that glitching line? It's right above my head right now. And now it's at my ear line again. You can see it go across the screen. So obviously this game can't hand or my card can't handle it, which uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I got a pretty beefy card. Uh, okay, so let's go back. Let's just bring them down to high. I mean, did they want did they want you to have the the best video card, NVIDIA? Uh, let's just go to let's go to performance for that uh, let's go to uh, high I mean I've got a 4070 Ti and um, I shouldn't have uh, I don't I don't ever have performance issues when it comes to other games all right let's see let's just bring this all down to high but putting out an ultra was not the was not the best choice there I guess yeah I got a 4070 Ti I've got 98 gigs on the on the on the on the box I mean I've I mean I do a lot I mean if you follow my YouTube channel I do a lot of rendering and screen uh, compile uh, video compiling and whatnot so I have to have a beefy computer okay that's no that line's still there you can see it but again this is beta uh, we'll see how it goes but that line might drive me to uh, want to uninstall at this point. Uh, we'll see. But you know me when it comes to my eyes can pick up my eyes pick up a lot of things in a video game. I think we need to talk, Traveller. You're a new face around here. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you Okay, can I not use the mouse to click on? Okay, I can. It was a little delay there. I mean you, uh, I mean you no harm. Looking for answers. I don't know if you guys can hear the sound, but the dialogue for this NPC is a little low. Okay, I just want to get. Uh, do not have. Do I have your permission to stay in the village? No, but you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. I got. Okay, I can build a shelter on the outskirts. I'll do just that. All right. What's this? Build your shelter. Attach, okay. All right, let's just do that then. Build a shack for yourself. Wait until tomorrow to check. Still can't attack anything. The mouse buttons don't do anything for attack. Yeah, there's even glitching going on at my feet level when I jump. Uh, when I cut, say glitching, some clipping issues. Oh, I can get into trees? Look at that. Let me climb a tree. Yeah, see that line at my waist level right now that goes across the screen? Again, this is beta, but this is something they should have cleaned up before uh, asking people for, for testing. What's going on here? What is this? All right, it's just some guy out in the woods. I can't chop trees down. I, I need a cutting tool, which they haven't uh, given me. Build a, how do I build a shack if I don't have the ability to cut anything down? All right, how do I get into the build menu? All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, I click on that and it does nothing. Can I drag it? Can't drop it. Category. How do I uh, disassemble, rename, building, shack? 
Okay, maybe I need to be in a different location. What is this here? Oh, that's a bandit camp. There's the town I left, right? So they told me I could build somewhere here. I guess I'll just keep on running until... I mean, I don't know how I build things in this... Okay, so now it won't even let me click on that. I don't know how it lets me build some... Okay, place a construct... Oh, I have to hit the F button. Okay. Oh, I have to go in the build command, and then I have to hit the F button. All right. Got to go to the build command and hit the F button. All right. So here we are. I just threw it down in the shack. Add construction materials. Okay, how do you do that if you haven't given me any tools to build anything? Okay, so let's see here. Okay, add construction materials. Okay, this is where I'm at. Where do I get the construction materials? Can't cut that tree down. Can't cut that tree. How about the small tree? Can't cut that tree down. Yeah, they need... Oh, do I need to find the items on the ground? Oh, this is hobo. Oh, man, this is hobo. You would think... Okay, I can't even pick up a rock. All right. So I got to go around and pick up sticks, it looks like. Okay, does it even allow me to use those? I don't want to waste my time picking up sticks if I can't use them for anything. Yeah, having that stamina meter where they've got it is just done wrong. I, 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 in my opinion, it needs to be... Yeah, it looks like I can add some sticks to it. All right, I'll use the six. What it doesn't tell me, which I don't like, is the fact that how many do I need? You know, and what, where I'm at with the process. They, they don't tell me that. What is this stuff hanging in the air up here? What is this up here? See all this stuff hanging in the air? All right. Let's uh, see. Uh, let's see if I'm making a spaceship. All right, let's see if I can get some more. Uh, I don't like the fact that I can't attack or I can't. I can't punch trees to get I you know to get these things because a lot of games allow you to uh, in the in the interaction button I do not like the fact that the interaction button is the mouse button not at all usually it's the F key or the E key that you use to do this stuff like if you want to pick something up uh, then you use the F key or E key as your interaction button here they are having you do the mouse button which again I think is a, a design. Um, concern of mine. I mean, I've tested and play tested and beta tested and done all sorts of testings through the years, like 20 years. And I know, you know, how games like this should be designed and how, what buttons should be where. And I know there are some games that, you know, they got their unique flavor to why they do it, but there is basically a, uh, you know, a known. Oh, so what I got to do is I got to go to these white spot see the there's these white dots that you'll see see that white dot right there and I got to click on that white dot see that that's how they did the building so you got to click on the white dots okay again they haven't told me how many of the, I mean is this just a stick a uh, picking up stick game I mean is that what we're at I mean it seems like a lot of sticks for making my basic shelter yeah these that's what these white dots are so you click on the white dots and you uh, Okay, I unlocked Barry. It shows me I unlocked. When you find things, it looks like it unlocks it in your journal. You see that across the board in a lot of these games. Dig tool required to get rid of the stumps. That requires a tool. 
I mean, they a lot of games will have you make your tools. That that usually it's make your tools, then build your shelter. But this game, you know, is just like go around and pick up a bunch of sticks. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to put too much hate on it. It just uh, it just seems like uh, you're having me do a lot of picking up a lot of sticks here to build a, this this little shelter that I'm probably never going to use again, right? I mean, because obviously I want to be somewhere else in the world eventually. So it just seems like a lot of uh, fetch and carry for, for the fact that let's build a shelter just to do it in the game as part of the tutorial beginning. I mean, and there's no sticks anywhere. I'm looking, I'm looking. Again, this is beta, but I don't know how I, I may have to get on the Discord and link them this video. I mean, this is, I mean, I, the word, I'm not going to use the word, oh, well, it's not cringe. That's not what I, uh, it's, it's a different kind of um, fetch and carry that uh, is not to my liking. I mean, it's, you know me with fetch and carry uh, games. You know, just running around. Picking up sticks. I mean, nobody in the town could have given me an axe or, you know, or or something. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like the first thing you do in these survival games is build your equipment. Basic equipment. I mean, this is going to take all day. I mean... At this rate, I'll be here till the cows come home. I mean, they tell me to talk to this guy, wait till tomorrow, but I'll be here like three weeks getting this thing built at this rate. I mean, am I missing something? Am I Is it something that I'm supposed to be... Maybe I'm missing something. Let's go to lo L for log. No, J. Maybe I'm supposed to be building the... Uh, the no, the only thing that I've got in my quest log is build... Uh, is build the, the place. And this just seems silly to me. I mean, it seems really silly that uh, this is what I've come up with. And we're now 17 minutes into my my video. I don't, um, I don't know. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, if I were to uh, rate this at this time, if uh, well, let me put it this way. If I had paid for this game at this 17 minute mark, I would be watching my time closely enough that I'd make sure I didn't go over the two hour mark and I'd be refunding it. And I know they sent this as a beta test, but this ultimate design that they've done here is what I'm, I'm having problems with is I can't affect any of these trees. I can't do anything with these stumps. Uh, I have to go around and just pick up sticks to, to get this done. And the interaction button is the mouse click instead of the E and F kit. I, I mean, it just, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm going to probably put another, I'll put another 10 minutes into this and then I think I'll be done. I mean, this is, to me, this is not enjoyable. I mean, with games like this, I know you've got to do a lot of, uh, you've got to do a lot of this kind of stuff, but to not have you have appropriate tools off the beginning, this is just time wasting for the sake of time wasting it's almost the sun's going down and i'm still building this thing i mean the base and this is the i'm not trying to build the taj mahal here you know what i mean i could understand a game making you grind making you grind for the items to get some upper tier stuff done but to make you run around at the beginning here just to do this, I'm, I must be missing something. And the, see the sunrise is even choppy. Watch the sunrise. See how choppy it goes across the screen? Again, this is an optimization issue. It's a, it's a big optimization issue. See how it's like, uh, it's like uh, Pac-Man glitchy, like uh, how Pac-Man moves like across the ghost screen? See, it's not, it's not, cl it's not clean. It's not moving clean across the screen uh so it's uh oh geez i i don't know i don't know what is going on here 
Okay, I can't put a stick there. Oh, I have to add flowers now? Is that, That's what it's telling me. I've got to add some sort of flower now to get this construction done. Yeah, it says it's I got to add these are flowers, like these purple flowers. See, it shows me shack, um, uh, construction materials, flowers. So I'm going to have to go look at flowers in the dark. They haven't given me the ability to make a torch. I don't know, folks. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Between the, the line across the screen, the, some of the performance, obviously, glitching going on uh, with the... With the even the moon's not moving uh, clean. It's uh, a little bit clean, but it's still like like the it's like got a little stutter step with it. I mean, my eyes pick up all this stuff, but I'm not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna go out and try to find what they're asking me to find here. I mean, this is this just seems um, not fun. <laughs> I guess I mean uh, you know this is just not fun. I I just. Uh, not uh, enjoying myself uh, with this uh, fetch and carry part of the game at the very beginning. So I'm back in the town here. I haven't seen any of where I find those flowers. It's too dark for me to really see anything. I guess I could tweak it out by moving the gamma so I can see. Maybe I'll do that. I mean, because they made me no choice to do this because uh, I can't see. I mean, that's the... Well, let's see if I can uh, change the... Is there a slider for the gamma? No, there's not. All right. Yeah, they haven't given me a torch. They haven't given me tools. They haven't given me... I keep on, I keep on going into these berry bushes. Your inventory is full. All right, let's go into my inventory. So can I just drop something? Yep. I can just drag it here. At least I got that going for them. I can at least drop it. Okay, more powerful. So it becomes a more... Okay, I get that. I don't think I'm going to make it to that. Okay. 55. Okay, it tells me here. Okay. It tells me up here what I needed for the build that shack. So it wasn't on the shack level. It's here at the settlement level that says shack one uh, requires four more wood and eight flax is what it's telling me. Oh, at least it tells me somewhere where that is, right? Oh, here it is. You can barely see it in the dark. You can barely see it in the dark. Now, I'm going to button this up because I'm done. <laughs> I... I don't think this would be a game for me. I mean, I would like to play test it, but this is just, they're only giving me 72 hours to play test this thing. And at this rate, I'd get nothing done in those, in that time. I mean, it just seems, it just, just seems like it's designed to be the gr the grind seems to be there. And I'm not looking for this, a game like this to grind my day away by going and just picking up items off the ground. Uh, by most games that that trying to do what they're trying to do here has given you the tools necessary to make at least your beginning town or your, it just this seems like a lot of pick up and move pick up fetch and carry I'm not enjoying myself here uh, there's obviously some optimization that really needs to happen here so I am done testing this game because I've got like three or four other games on my plate to test I didn't I do I do uh, thank them for sending me the the the, the uh, key to test this, but I am done at this point. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.